Be careful when you use someone else's visions of these higher worlds. And I don't even mean using mine. I mean using uh, the visions of the Arizal, Isaac Luria, or Moses Cordovero in Padres Rimonim. These accepted visions of the upper worlds, of the worlds above Oseo world, above our physical world. And when they talk about angels, now that I entered angels, I thought I entered something. And then as I read and I read, and like read uh, uh, chapter 39 in Tanya, in the Kuti Amarim, the Chabad, um, you find out, I, I thought, I thought, whoa, I'm in, I'm, I'm in Yetzirah world, you know? So, hmm. Yeah. And then I'm in, that, associated with angels up here. Well, that's the emotional midot world. Above that is the Berea world of the intellect of the Hok Mabin and Das from Ein Sof. And that's the souls of the Zadikim come from Berea world, higher than the Yetzirah world, where only Malachim, angels live and come from. So here I was, you know, oh, boo. The potential of Zadikim in Berea world. And those are the three lower created worlds. And I'm going to show you something, how to find this yourself. Don't trust anybody else's vision. I've spent my whole life reading these visions of the Arizal, you know, being an expert in Kabbalah. Somebody else's Kabbalah. You know, knowing the differences between, do you know the differences between the Cordovera and the Arizal? So the point is, I'm interested in you. You find it. I'm finding it. You find yours and your ex explanation of it. And that's the important thing. I can tell you my vision, and that's what you're hearing here, by the way, or seeing. You're seeing my vision. My vision means nothing to you. I come from a different sphere. Take my word for it. I'm from a different world. When you have hair and beard like mine, then you'll be in my world. I'm actually from the Merkava world of Etziliut. Vision of the Merkava world from, from, from Etziliut. They have wheels down here, but the Merkava, the, the, the chariot. You know, I don't pronounce too well because I'm self-taught. There's an advantage to being self-taught and a problem. The problem is, like Murakawa or something. I can't really pronounce it. The advantage is I'm the only one that sees it. <laughs> you don't learn the language and the this from somebody else. But it also takes time. Same thing happened to me with my piano. You know, self-taught. So, you know, I don't really read music and stuff like that. And I got my own style. And that's also the advantage. Merkava has a gematria of 267 which is the gematria of Nazir. So if you want to be a Merkava, a chariot, 
the chariot of the Atsilu world, then be a Nazir, same Gematria, 267. And that's one of the reasons that they don't want you to be a Nazir down here. Because if you're a Nazir down here, you'll be in the chariot world up there, in Itzilio. So I'm going to show you a, a little bit of a gimmick. I like that. It's a gimmick. It's not a gimmick. My point is all this is imprinted, stamped on your body. All your potentialities are already on you, in you, within you. You were taught the Torah of a tziliut in the womb. And then comes that when we come out, and then we get the Berea world, the creation world. But let me just show you one of the ways to find out some of these extra dimensions. You know, a yid in, in, in uh, Yiddish, a yid is spelt yudalat, that's yad. And a Jew is the yad. That's what he is. He's the yad. Uh, he's got four dalat amos. He's got dalat amos in his, in his yad. And the yad is like a dalit, you know. And it's one of the reasons it's dalit amos. It's, it's a complete thing, the yad. But let me show you how to find some of the higher worlds and how to enter them in the, through the yad. If you've ever seen the hand, there it is. Now, these worlds are all represented in the hand. Everything is in the hand. In Judaism and in Islam and the whole area there, they use, in the Mideast, they use the hamsa. You know, it's the hand, the five. The whole secret is the five. And the four, four, four worlds, this is the Osea world, this is the Yitzira world, this is the Berea world, and this is the Etzilio world. And then we have the thing that's it, it, it's kind of unique to man. Other primates have it, but the thumb. But notice where the thumb is. It's so far away from me. Four worlds. This is the fifth world, the Adam Kadman world or the Yehida. And we've talked about this. So it's the five worlds. The unique thing about the thumb is it only has two perex, where the other fingers have three perex each. So when you ever have the number 12 in Judaism, it's always these four, these four fingers times the three perex, that's 12. And when you have 14, that's the gematria of the word yad, yud, ten, dalit, four. And that's the yad. Now, if you see in yoga, sometimes you see the position like this. You know the okay position? Or they go like this, so I'll do it like that. They bring the Atsilu world into the Adam Kadman world because this is the real secret. The Adam Kadman world can only be far from these four worlds. Atsilu is part of this world, but we, and the easiest way to bring that down is to the Atsilu world. And that Etzilia world has a unique uniqueness with the, it's, with the Yehida of the Adam Kadman world. And these other three worlds are Berea, Yetzirah, and Osea, 
which are the created worlds. So this Atsiyah world is kind of like, you know, it brings up to these Berea worlds, but it really is connected to the thumb, the uniqueness of the thumb, the Yehida, and the Haya. Now when the Haya, that's this world, the the pointing finger world, whatever it is. And the thumb come together higher. And Yehida, Yehida is 37. Haya is 23. That comes out to be 60. And that's the letter Samach, 60, which is the form of a circle. And that's where you see it. And those are the two higher, uh, um, you know, the higher worlds. And so these worlds are the Neshama, the Ruach, and the Nefesh. So when we're talking about nef the physical world, we're talking about the Nefesh. Then, no, I was talking about the, about the Yetzirah world. That's the world of angels. And, but Wow. Here's the world, here's the, here's the world, the Berea world of the, of the uh, uh, souls of the Zadikim. It's higher, more elevated than the Yetzirah world. And you can see it's more elevated because it's <laughs> the largest finger. And that's the finger we wrap the tefillin on. And so all these things are related here to souls. And these are the created worlds. And you know, there are two um, nerves in the hand. One is called the ulna nerve, and those for the outside, kind of like two and a half fingers. Sometimes when you hit your funny bone, your two fingers here get uh, numb. That's the ulna nerve. And then there's the, from the middle down here, from the middle of that, then there's the radial nerve, which is the inside part. So there's two nerves here. It's kind of like pronate and supinate. Pronate and supinate. You know, I've only been doing this all my life. I don't know which is pronate and which is supinate, but... That's the two movements, and those are the two nerves. Radial nerve, it's the inside here, and the ulna nerve, and they split down the middle. So the radial nerve is actually the nerve that makes the higher kind of thing, and that's why you're supposed to spiral your hand when you wash your hands in the morning. So you circle the hands. When you make that circle, so you get the full potential, again, of the human being. Let me, let me rest that hand. This Kabbalah stuff is very difficult. You've got to keep your hand up like that. And I'll do it. And so that pose there. These are the five things. Now, for me, and for everybody, there's a sixth level. See? Everybody knows there's five levels, but there's a sixth level, and that's the Atzmuts level. The Atzmuts level. For me, it's sometimes manifested on the hand as the third peric of the hand, which I call the, if you let your fingernail grow. That to me, that's why in certain cultures they let their fingernail of the thumb grow very long and you can tell a man's station, uh, I think it's more in China, uh, by the length of his fingernail of the thumb. It's a power nail. 
But that's only a manifestation of this sixth, which would make it a third parak like the other fingers. And would give it a yad, a, a, a 15, say, which would be yud hey, which would be high, rather than yud dalat. But the sixth, the, the sixth level, the atzmuts, the essence level, the essence of the five, where would that be? That would be right there in the center of the hand. Very often you see like when they, when they have pictures of uh, Christ being crucified, they have him uh, nailed through the palm. And as you explore it, there's almost a hole there in the middle of the palm from which everything radiates out of. All the fingers kind of radiate from there. And they do. And the way you can find that is to fold over these two fingers, and it's right there in the center. So like when you make a fist, or fold over, kind of, it's where these fingers are in the center of the hand. Or when a baby is like that, or, or actually, now that I think of it, my brother <laughs> went like this. Oh, now that I think of it. Into the essence, It's like sucking a thumb. It's in the essence of the center hole. And that's the six, that's the atzmuts, the center of the self. From that sixth level, even the fifth comes out of, plus these other worlds. So you, we're talking about six now. So in a certain sense, we have six on the hand, which isn't too far from the word Bereshis, the first word of the Torah. As you know, they split up the Torah. Instead of Bereshis as one word, they call it Barashit. Sheet is the Aramaic for six. So bara sheet created six. So a sign of this sixness is found on the hand. In the hand, because the hand, if you just analyze your hand, you could find all this nonsense I'm telling you, which has taken a lifetime. And it's always there in case you wave. Hi. You know? Hi. So the point is, it's always there in you, but you are kept from it, from the society. It doesn't want you to recognize that you are it. You don't need anything else but you to find you. You want me to find you? You want me to find the level of your potential and soul when you've been walking around with you all your life? And then you tell me, come and tell me a dream or a story? Mm. And expect Dr. Freud to analyze it? Know all about you or you go to a psychic? Now, you know all about yourself because your head is in a Kazakh record. You don't forget. You, if you lost a toe in a car accident, do you forget it? No, so everything you remember. You remember everything. You want me to give affirmation? That's what we learned in school. Teacher, 1492. Yes, oh, you're so smart, Stephen. Oh. 
Columbus discovered America. I know the answer to the year. And they call me smart. You mean I know what somebody else did? Tell me what you do for yourself. And that's the real secret here. It's all in the hand. A bird in the hand. It's worth two in the bush. And that's actually a, a great phrase here because two is the duality that's found from the Berea world down. The higher worlds are unified. From Berea down, it's a two-ness, or a Torah of, of the bet of two. The bird in the hand. It's worth bet in the bush. Two in the bush. It's worth bet in the malbush. In the malbush. So these are great secrets that you possess. Now find your own answers on your own body. Gave you enough clues forever.